Welcome to the Great HR How To Video Series. In this video, we will talk about how to view employee payroll documents for an employee from your Great HR account. Published info is the information or payroll related documents you have released to the employee's EESS portal. Sometimes you may need to check payroll related documents of your employees for some reason. This is when you can refer to the published info section in the payroll module. Let us walk through each page of this section. From the admin portal, navigate to the payroll module and click published info. This section displays the payroll related documents that are readily available for your reference. The payslip page shows the total earnings, total deductions and net pay of the employee's salary. You can view and download your employee's payslips from this page. All you have to do is enter the employee's name or number in the search box and the payslip will appear. You can also download the payslip by clicking here. Please note that the lock and publish button is available on this page. If the payslip is not yet released to the employee ESS portal, click on the button to release the payslip. Now, let us understand the CTC payslip page. Select an employee and see the employee's detailed annual salary structure. The structure includes details such as full HRA, full DA, full basic, full conveyance and annual fixed pay. Click this button to print the CTC payslip of the selected employee. Next is the reimbursement payslip page. Please note that you can view the reimbursement payslip only if the employee has made any claims. Select the employee from here to see the reimbursement payslip. Moving on to the overtime payslip page, you can view the payslips of employees who have worked overtime in the month. Just select the employee to see details like overtime type, overtime hours, wage rate, and overtime earnings. Click the download button to download the overtime payslip of the selected employee. Now comes the YTV summary page. A summary of total earnings, deductions, and net pay for the selected employee's financial year will appear here. In summary, you will also see the details such as deductions, PF, prof tax, net pay, days in month, LOP, and EFF work days. You will also have the option to download the YTD summary in PDF format. Next is the PF YTD statement. On this page, you can view the employee's and employer's contribution towards the Provident Fund PF along with the selected employee's earnings, PF and VPF details. You can download the PFYTD statement by searching here for the employee whose statement you want to view. Click this button. Reimbursement statement is up next. From here, you can view all the reimbursement transactions of an employee. Search for the employee whose reimbursement statement you want to view and select the required card type. Now click here to view the details of the claim type. You can select any of the appropriate status from this drop-down to view the claims the selected employee has made. Click on the Payout tab to view the actual amount paid to the selected employee against each claim. Please note, the Claims tab under the selected card type displays the claims an employee applies. The Payout tab displays the actual amount of the approved claim paid to an employee. Next is the Loan Statement. On this page, just search for the employee whose loan statement you want to view and all the loan cards will appear. Select the loan status as per your requirements and click Wired Loan Card. When you click on the Details button, you will see details such as date, recovered amount, principal recovered, interest recovered, transaction type and remarks. Click on the IT Statement page to view the income tax it calculations of the employee's income for the current financial year. Search for the employee whose IT statement you want to view and click on Expand All. In this section, you will see the details of the income tax calculated. Then click on Collapse All to reset the section. With the Download as PDF button you can download the IT statement in PDF format. Let us move on to IT declaration. As an admin, you can view the plans that are declared by the employees and also create, edit and delete a plan on their behalf. 
The plants are displayed under two sections. Plants created by the employee are under the declared by employee section. And plants created by you are displayed under the declared by admin section. Both these plans are automatically approved. Please note that your employee can create a maximum of four plans at a time. Each plan displays a regime comparison and the status of the plan. You can declare investments on behalf of an employee IT declaration page and can also view a comparison between old regime and new regime. Last on the list is the FVP declaration. The FVP items declared by the employees can be viewed here. You can create and also declare FVP on behalf of an employee. Creating the plan on behalf of an employee is only possible if you have released the plan to the employee. For that, search for the employee on behalf of whom you want to create the FVP and click on create plan. Please note that if the employee has already declared FVP, you can view the declaration details directly. Now click confirm to create FVP on behalf of an employee. You can also declare FVP for an employee by just selecting the employee. Enter the required amount of the components that the employee needs to declare. And click submit to declare FVP for the selected employee. Please note once you declare the FVP plan, you must lock and consider the plan from FVP planner under the admin tab in the payroll section. If you do not lock and consider the plan, the submitted plan automatically gets processed for payroll. Hope, you have understood the tasks each page in the published info section are performed. With that, we come to an end. Thank you for watching the great HR how-to video series.